everyone, my name is Projectile12, and welcome to the seventh episode of Projectile Plays Minecraft. Now, obviously I have the Elytra, um, and I have a lot of other stuff, so let me explain in about a minute. First, this blacksmith was created. The uh, blacksmith itself is based on something made by Mystical Sausage, a tutorial, and this is based on, and this is pretty much an exact copy of Braylon's, um, little forge tutorial. I'll leave both of them in the description. Second, this hill's gone. Third, we're using a data pack by Vanilla Tweaks. I mean, a resource pack that has HD shields, dark UI, and this cool elytra, and some other stuff like the managing tools. Then we also have uh, some news from the profit standpoint. We're low on emeralds, but that is mainly because I've been... Uh, quite upgrading my armor um and like gun is also pretty op i've moved the sheep and cows uh i have defeated the ender dragon but i think i already said that and i've gotten my cat this is snowball cotton ball this is her actual name in real life um her her real name is snowball but We've called her middle name Cottonpaw. I've also got rid of the farms, worked on a new mine, and uh, quite a lot of stuff is going to be done in this episode and the next coming episodes. So, first, I would like to address something that happened in between episodes. Um, this is no longer a full vanilla survival world. This now has cheats on. So, basically, the reason is if I take this guy out. I've needed invisible item frames, and I couldn't do them without, uh, OP. So, yeah. I really like this change, though. Um, and don't worry, I won't use it for, like, getting OP stuff. I also have an Enderman farm, and, uh, it is something that I forgot to say. But, uh... A lot of grinding later, and well, our helmet is now prop four. Our lighter now is a breaking three. Our chest plate also has a breaking three. Our all of our tools that have efficiency five have efficient efficiency five. Paul Bunyan's axe boy has sharpness three. So yeah, uh, we're on our way to getting the most OP armor and tools. So uh, next thing on the agenda. Uh, sorry for my low range distance. Been playing Bed Wars and it sinks. Um, well, we're gonna have to expand this wall. And uh, as I said earlier in the video, I think we're uh, going to switch all buildings except for the house to oak to actually fit the field. So let's start with transforming the uh, first building. Now the roofs are still going to stay spruce, as in that building, but uh. The walls themselves are not. Also, I'm still, again, not doing a time lapse for this, as Replay Mod's still not out for 1.17! So, after some work, we have uh, transformed this house into uh, oak. And there is some spruce wood, but I decided to keep it. Uh, this is actually new. Um, I just thought it looked good. And also, this spruce roof. And uh, I also started on a library, but that is going to take a while. And, I pr and this is probably actually going to be the one of the last things I'm going to finish. Uh, so, I do have some books in my inventory, and we are going to go off to the end. Um, because, as pretty much usual at this point, I need to uh, get some stuff. I need to upgrade all my uh, things to OP. I mean... Shovel and big axe are the best they can, and uh, the axe is nearly the best. Uh, leggings need just thorns three, and uh, so does the chest plate, and it needs netherite, but we'll work on that later. So, uh, Uh, I do want to start on a barn, probably, like, right here, maybe. 
And uh, this is going to be my storage room. So basically, it's going to have an automatic multi-item sorter. Um, I'm just going to just have it right there. And, uh, I kind of need it at this point because, uh, yeah, a creeper blew up my storage room. Luckily, I uh, managed to get pretty much everything into its chest. I mean, some of them are completely full, like this one. Um, some of them are actually different, so like, uh, nature doesn't have, like, all, like, apples and glowberries and such. So, yeah. Hopefully this new array is going to look better. Um, and work better for now. Also, a wandering trader stopped by and he got me a, some eight, he, uh, sold me eight targets. And, uh... Yeah, you can probably guess what I'm going to do with these things. Uh, these guys are, uh, the cows at least, are getting pretty packed. I had to kill 12 of them. Sheep are also getting pretty packed. Uh, so we have some things to do. So, a bit of an update. So, first of all, pants... Prop for I'm breaking three, mending thorns three, the best pants you can get in the game. Sword, sharp five, mending, looting two, I'm breaking three, sweeping edge three, knockback two, and fire aspect one. I could have a fire aspect two and looting three, but uh, I just could get those enchantments while at the enderman farm. Um, another update, which is probably the main thing that's happened. Um, this guy showed up. A full diamond armor zombie. And oh, are we keeping him? Uh, the only problem is that I can't sleep in my bed anymore, but we'll compensate for that once we, uh, start working on the village room. That's another snowball cat. I've also decided that this library is gonna go. Because basically, um, in medieval times, libraries weren't actual, like, libraries there were no libraries they were monas yeah they were usually monasteries sometimes they weren't sometimes they were like king's palaces but uh usually they are monasteries which is and i want to go for a bit of historical accuracy so uh there's like the main body of the library done uh gone yeah. Uh, I kind of want this place to be more of a, uh, more of this kind of style. Less of anything else, really. It's, I really like these, uh, these houses based on, uh, mystical sausage. I'm, as I said, I'm not that good at building. It's not that I don't know tips. It's just that I'm, I don't have a very great mind for building. I've, it's kind of the same with redstone. I'm more of a PvP type guy. And I was for a very long time. Well, actually, I haven't. In fact, that was pretty much a lie, because I've never been a PvP guy until, like, a year ago, when I actually started playing on, like, Hyperson. And, like, I was never actually a PvP guy at all, until I actually got a, uh, like, apparently got a uh, Java, and... Well, that's what just what we played all the time. So you're about to see uh, the effects of this sword. This thing is powerful. Also, all of my I forgot to mention that all of my armor is now prop 4. Um, boots even are nearly complete. I mean, those are some really good boots. And these guys are still annoying. As ever. They're annoying hers. They're making me go mad. But Trading hall is not that soon to come. Um, also, like, at the beginning of the video, I said that it would be, a, the series would be over by episode 20. 
that was kind of like at that time that was my plan then during the making of this episode it, i just did so many things just so many things more than i've put more work into this episode than the first three episodes combined um excuse the background noise um that is cobra he's playing with yo mama apparently it quite salsa and many others um basically we may go to episode 20 but the official like full series will actually end on episode 10 um or we'll have a pretty big finale but like the monastery and like parts of the village that will be done during this the uh episode 20 time and uh this has been a bit of a hard decision but i've decided that this is kind of necessary as this has really been taking up my time for a very long while and like recently especially i've had i've spent less and less time on it because it's just gotten a bit boring like i've not been doing much i'm kind of hiding in this world i'm only playing it for like enjoyment so this has been kind of a hard decision but Rachel plays Minecraft will end technically on episode 10, um, but it will fully end probably on 15 or 20. Um, but those episodes, kind of like this episode, will be at least three weeks apart. While like other series like Target Craft will happen like every, like hopefully twice every week. As I just have a lot more to do in that one um, than this one. And I don't know. Are we ready to do a raid? Not sure. <laughs> Guess I'll prepare. No, I'm definitely not ready to do it. They literally shot their own captain to death. <laughs> That's a memory. Alright. But, uh, definitely didn't get as much done in this episode as I wanted to. But I'm just going to end it here. Um, on this note, definitely between episodes, I'm going to work on the wall. And next episode, I think we're going to work on a couple more professions. Uh, probably like Fletcher. And maybe the trading wall. Like, start on it. And, uh, build a few more houses. I'm not ready to do a raid yet. But on, uh, episode 9, maybe. Hopefully we'll get a raid done. Probably do it on the village over there, because I'm not ready. Cause I cannot do it over here. So, uh... Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this episode. I'll check how plays Minecraft. I, this is pre-editing. But, uh, I believe this is going to be a lot shorter. And, uh, let me know if you like this style that, uh, at least I've planned.
a lot better than the current one. And uh, let me know if you want to see me do a raid. So that would actually be kind of fun. So, uh... This episode, we're going... We've done, uh... Oh, we transformed this house. Made, uh, that little house. Uh, and worked on our tools and armor. So, well, it's got... Well, technically not in this episode, but we got the elytra. Well, something that I didn't really mention is that I've gotten a lot more villagers. Um, as you can see from the overcrowdedness of this place. In next episode... Oh, whoops. Because I'll hopefully have the walls done and the place lit up. Lit up. Um, I think we'll start moving these guys in. Yeah. Please subscribe if you enjoyed. Also like, because it really helps me out. And I would really... Wait. I would really be happy if you would do that. Also, if you want to see more of these and be notified to be the first person when they're out, turn on that notifications bell. Also, please follow me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash projectile12streams, link in the description, and my Discord is also, again, open to the public. As it has been for the past month or two. It is a mainly family-friendly place, so you can just come on here at any age if you have parent permission to get onto Discord. Um, so yeah, come and hang out with me over there, and I'll see you in the next episode.